These are arguably the top two Ultra devices of 2023 thus far. And since the Xiaomi 13 Ultra just recently made its way to the global market, I thought it quite fitting to put it up against the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra in this extremely detailed speed test. They are both powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset, but the Samsung one-ups the Xiaomi with a slightly higher main core clock speed of 3.36 gigahertz, as opposed to the 3.19 gigahertz standard. Both devices are also also kits it with UFS 4.0 storage and LPDDR5X RAM, but while the Xiaomi packs in more RAM at 16 gigs, the Samsung sticks to 12 gigs. They have both been updated to their latest available software, and since they both offer different animations, I'll be removing all animations on both devices. Which one of these ultra flagship smartphones will become the ultimate speed test champion? This is Technic, and without further ado, let's find out. We're going to start things off with a simple boot to see which one can power on quickest and it is indeed the Xiaomi with just over 18 seconds as opposed to just over 20 seconds on the Samsung. Now going into the actual home screen loading the app icons first, the Xiaomi loaded the icons as well as the widgets quicker picking up its second points in the first section. Now testing out fingerprint sensors, the Xiaomi got its first win, second win and best three out of three here picking up its third points in the boot and biometric section of this video. Now testing out face unlock since they both use 2D face unlock, we just use using the selfie cameras and the Xiaomi once again comes out on top of here picking up its fourth points. And remember we're focusing on the actual wallpaper that shows first and not necessarily the icons. We used a Lux meter over here to make sure the brightness levels are the same so that we can record a battery drain at the end of the video. They're both sitting at 64% at the start and they're both sitting at around 30 degrees Celsius at the start, which once again, we'll compare at the end of the video. Now starting with the speed test section, the section you've all been waiting for. The Samsung opened up the clock app a little bit quicker than that of the Xiaomi. It went to the world clock a tad quicker as well, picking up its second point in the speed test section and picking up its third point going to the stopwatch section, but they both started the timer pretty much at the exact same time. Now going into our second app, so far we have Samsung with three and the Xiaomi with zero. It was way too close to call when going into the calculator app. And now we're doing a little sum over here, which I actually struggled a bit with calculating. So forgive me over here and have a little bit of patience, but we're getting there now and actually getting to the sum total over here. They both did it at exactly the same time. Moving on to the third system app now. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but I actually start with system apps, then I go to social media apps, as well as photo apps, and then move on to gaming at the end of the video. Going into the camera app, the Samsung actually opened it up quicker, but the Xiaomi loaded the page quicker. The Xiaomi switched to the selfie camera quicker, so it picked up its first points and took the selfie a tad quicker than that of the Samsung, picking up its second point here. Now going into gallery, the Samsung picks up its fourth point and going into the actual photo, the Samsung picks up its fifth point, a smidge quicker over there in terms of system applications. Now going into our first non-system app, our first third party app, the Xiaomi opens up Photoshop Express a tad quicker than that of the Samsung, but the Samsung goes into the actual photo quicker than that of the Xiaomi, now picking up its sixth point, which is doubled than that of the Xiaomi, picking up its seventh point now, exporting the photo to gallery slightly quicker than that of the Xiaomi and going into Adobe Rush, which is a video editing app and a lot of people I've seen these days are actually editing on their phones and you actually can do that these days. But the Xiaomi opened up Rush a tad quicker than that of the Samsung and it went into the project quicker than the Samsung as well. Now we're gonna render this 4K 25 FPS frame rate file. It's only a 21 second file and we're gonna see which one is gonna export quicker. Now, I did try this multiple times on the Samsung and it just took so slow, took so long every single time. The Xiaomi did it in over 12 seconds and the Samsung took over 48 seconds to render the exact same clip, which is super strange since they're both rocking UFS 4.0 storage. Now, the next app that we're going into is a music app. I'm sure most of you have heard of it. It is called Spotify. Jumping into that one, the Samsung was a tad quicker there, picking up its eight points, only two points ahead of that of the Xiaomi. And going into the song at the bottom of of the displays of each phone over here. It was a bit too close to call, but if you look at it over and over, the Xiaomi definitely picks up at seventh point over there. Now we're gonna be going into Google Chrome now, which is actually more demanding than you would actually expect. And a lot of people use this on the daily, so it'll be interesting to see. Hopping into that one, it is the Xiaomi picking up its eighth point now, finally matching that of the Samsung and searching something within Chrome was way too close to call. So they're both still sticking on eight points apiece within the speed test section of this video. Going into Facebook now, 
The Samsung actually opened it up quicker, but the Xiaomi loaded the page quicker, so no point was allocated, just like we saw earlier with the camera app. And going into our profile, or my profile that is over here, it was way too close to call. Going into our next social media app, that being of course Instagram, jumping into that one. Now, the Xiaomi did show the video a little bit quicker, but the Samsung opened the app initially quicker over there. And going into my profile, once again, way too close to call. Now, opening up Twitter, our third social media app over here, jumping into that one, way too close to call and it was extremely, extremely difficult to pick. I went over this Twitter app maybe 30 or 40 times and it was just milliseconds between each other. And going to my profile, the same thing can be said. So we still have nine points on the Samsung and eight points on the Xiaomi over here. The Samsung only with a one point advantage. And remember the Xiaomi actually has four points in the first section of this video. So it's technically ahead. Going into TikTok, however, the Samsung pulls more ahead with 10 points as opposed to eight points in the section. And going to my TikTok profile, no point was allocated, was way too close to call. Now hopping into YouTube over here, which one is gonna grab it? You would think it's gonna be the Samsung, but the Xiaomi strikes back, picking up its ninth point, going into YouTube quicker, but hopping into my actual channel, and the Samsung picks up its 11th point, regaining its two points advantage over the Xiaomi in the speed test section here. Going into Netflix now, this was ridiculous. It was literally neck and neck going into the profile section and hopping into one of the profiles, neck and neck between both devices over here. And next up, we have Geekbench, our first benchmark over here. Geekbench version six is a lot longer than Geekbench version five. I'll touch on that in a second, but the Samsung actually opened up the benchmark quicker and it takes a lot longer, like five minutes as opposed to one minute. The Xiaomi was a smidge quicker than that of the Samsung, well, about 13 seconds quicker that is. So it picked up its 10th points over there. Now just two points between the two and the Xiaomi did have a significantly better single and multi-core score and Geekbench version 6 actually focuses on multi-core score, which is interesting. And hopping into 3 Mark Wildlife over here, the Samsung opened the benchmark up quicker. We're gonna be running Wildlife Extreme and that is a 4K render of the same thing that you see within Wildlife, which renders at 2K resolution. The Samsung actually finished a little bit quicker and had a lesser score than the Xiaomi, but it's a speed test, so it's not about the score. So the Samsung does indeed pick up its 14th points over here. Now hopping into our first game of four here, very basic game, that being Subway Surfers. The Samsung was more than a second quicker at opening it up as opposed to the Xiaomi picking up its 15th points over here. They both started running at the same time when you hit play on both devices, but the Samsung did open it up quicker. Now going into a slightly more demanding game, that being Asphalt 9 Legends, the Samsung was a bit quick over there, 16.07 seconds as opposed to 16.16 milliseconds. And the Samsung picked up its 16th point and going into the actual game, the Samsung picks up its 17th point. So it's not only quicker in opening up games, but it's quicker in getting to the game itself once you are in the game, which is obviously good for those who want very, quick loading times within games that are slightly more demanding. And talking about demanding games, going into Call of Duty Mobile over here, which one is gonna open it up quicker? And this time, it is again, the Samsung. 34.06 seconds, as opposed to almost 35 seconds on the Xiaomi, 18 points on the Samsung, now 19. Once again, going into being able to play the game quicker within the game, loading times are quicker on the Samsung over here, even though they're using the same UFS storage and they are also using the same chipset, but the Snapdragon chip within the Samsung is slightly overclocked. The Samsung 4 Galaxy chip, of course, only in Galaxy devices, but the Xiaomi actually opened up free fire quicker than that of the Samsung, picking up its 11th points, but the Samsung once again went into being able to play the game within the game quicker than that of the Xiaomi, picking up and closing off with 20 points as opposed to 11 points on the Xiaomi, wrapping up the speed test portion of this video. Now, moving on to RAM management, we're doing things in reverse order and going from literally the back of the gaming apps, that being Free Fire, going to Call of Duty Mobile, all the way up to the start, which is the clock. They both have very good RAM management. They've both kept everything open so far, except for Asphalt 9 Legends. And it's very interesting to see because a couple of years ago, Xiaomi would have terrible RAM management and Samsung would always get the win over here. I only allocated points if one device keeps an app open and the other one kills it or vice versa. And so far, they've both kept open and killed the same amount of apps every single time over here. And going into gallery, they kept it open. Going into camera, they actually both closed it, but the Samsung just saved the mode. Going into calculator, they both kept it open and they both kept open the stopwatch within clock as well, which is very interesting to see. And now ending off the test over here with a total of 15 points on the Xiaomi and 20 points on the Samsung. 
when you go through all the sections of the video and they both had the exact same 6% battery drain with the same milliamp hour per minute reading, which is very interesting to see since it was very different in my recent battery life drain test video. Make sure you check that one out after this. And in terms of temperature, the Samsung was only 0.1 degrees Celsius less in terms of gain, getting 10.9 as opposed to adding 11 degrees Celsius on the Xiaomi. So in terms of temperature and battery, they both did a great job. Can't believe they actually kept neck and neck in terms of battery and they do have the exact same battery capacity. And at the end of the day, 20 points, 15 points, but the Samsung was almost double in the speed test portion of this video, which is really interesting to see. I thought it would be a lot closer, but of course, Samsung does have the four Galaxy chipset from Qualcomm within it with a slightly boosted core clock speed. So I'm not sure if that makes much of a difference, but at the end of the day, both of these devices are absolute powerhouses no matter which one you pick up. All I know is that since the Xiaomi 13 Ultra just launched globally, it did release at quite a whopping price. Anyway, let me know your thoughts of this video as well as these results and which device you actually prefer. This is Technic and I'll catch you in the next one.